Hi there, Star Diamond Coach Amanda Noddings here with a little food prep help today. Today I'm going to tell you exactly what I do for food prep and I'm going to give you five tips for being exceptionally successful with your food prep. And take it from someone like me who did no food prep before, these tips will come in handy. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm prepping and at the end I'll give you a little freebie how about a seven day clean eating meal plan incorporating these very foods so you can take this into your real life and make it work for a week and see if it helps you. So food prep, what's it all about? The first tip is plan your menu. The best way to know exactly what you're going to make and not have all that waste, have you ever gone to the grocery store and bought a whole bunch of vegetables, fruits, and feel like you're doing so good and you got all this healthy stuff only to have it go bad before you use it? This is the key right here. Step one, plan your menu. Now you don't have to stick to it exactly. It doesn't have to be a beautiful word graph or it doesn't have to be an amazing um, pick monkey, glamorous work of art. It just needs to be a general thing, even on a little piece of paper, there's a scrap of paper saying, I'm having a pita wrap on Wednesday and I'm having a turkey salad on Thursday and I'm having tuna on Friday. Just a general thing. And then you can mix and match throughout the week, however works for you. You can use something already made if you're out of time, but that's plan your meals so that you're buying the right amount of stuff and prepping the right amount of stuff. It will save you time and money in the long run, I promise you. Step two is use things you like. So don't go grabbing things off a meal plan, even the one I'm gonna give you for free at the end of this video. Don't go grabbing things that you don't even like. If you don't like beets, don't buy beets. If you haven't tried beets, try beets. But don't force yourself to follow someone else's meal plan that is full of food you don't like, because the only way you're gonna be successful is you will, if you will actually eat them. Tip number three is set aside time to do it. Okay, this isn't something that you do um, that comes naturally to you. When I first started, it would take me a couple hours. Now I can knock it out in a half hour of prep and then an hour of cooking, but I don't have to sit and watch. This is stuff that cooks itself like in the oven, which is preheating right now. So make sure you make the time for it. For me, it's Sunday, which is my day off, or Monday. This right now is Monday night, and I'm gonna do all of this. This will get me through my whole work week. Tip number four is leave things versatile for variety. Okay, you want a grilled chicken breast, you maybe don't want to make it recipe specific. That way you can use the chicken for salads, you can use it for wraps, you can use it for pitas, I mean, you can use it for several things. You can even use it for the rest of your family. So maybe your husband and kids can eat something that's not exactly what you're eating at work, but it's more versatile. As long as you have them cooked, that's what's saving you the time, right? And my fifth tip is follow through with your meal plan, okay? I'm looking right at my notes because I wrote it round. Don't try and do it all, but follow through. So when I first started looking at people's food prep, prep tips, I was totally overwhelmed. I didn't know what quinoa was. I didn't know why I would cook that. I didn't know where to start. I would see people's like pictures on Instagram just full of colorful stuff, and I wouldn't even know where to begin. So that's my fifth tip for you for food prep make sure you follow through and start with just a couple things. Do it one time. If it's brown rice, hard boiled eggs, and chicken, then that's great because that's all that time you will save next time. So those are my five tips for food prep. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do real quick and I'm gonna pick you up. I'm starting with some produce. I've got peppers here. I'm gonna be chopping cucumbers, onion, tomato, carrots, beets, sweet potatoes and yams, I've got some organic quinoa here. I've got chicken breasts, and let me give you a good bonus tip on this. I do two different flavors. This side is roasted garlic, and this side is a chipotle. So your quick herb spice blend is gonna be sea salt, cracked pepper, garlic, and an herb blend for the regular um, garlic chicken. And then I'm gonna throw some onion, dehydrated onion, some chipotle pepper, some paprika, so, and a little cayenne pepper in this one to like just spice it up and knock it out of the park. Then you've got stuff you can use for both meals and it's way more versatile. You can use it for a couple different things. And then I also have some lean steaks back here. Same thing, I did a couple different versions and that way, and I left some plain. That way I can use some for a steak fajita or a steak wrap or the chicken I can use for chef salads. I've got eggs to hard boil. So anyway, I'll put this quick list in the comments as well and then the clean eating plan that you can follow and see if it's of value to you. I hope it helps you. Please like, share, comment, 
Let me know what you think. Share it with someone in my help. And I hope that this makes clean eating and meal prep a little less intimidating. Have a great day. All the information will be in the comments below this video. Love you guys.